Another thing that people uh, really like to do in Avid is uh, real-time slip edits. So uh, let me just go ahead and set up a slip edit in the Avid. Uh, and you can see the familiar 4-up display. And that basically shows you the in point and the out point of the clip that you're slipping. Uh, and then uh, on adjacent ends, you have the out point of the previous clip and the end point of the next clip so that you can compare all four of those frames at the same time. Now in Avid, I can use the interface buttons or the uh, comma and period key on the keyboard to step left or right one frame at a time, or of course there's the multi-frame amounts. Uh, or uh, more often, we'll do this in real time. So by using JKNL, I can play in real time. And then when I hit K, the trim is performed. Uh, now, notice that in real time, I'm only going to be able to see one of these two frames update while I'm playing. So it's either the out point, if my pointer is hovering over the out point, or the in point. Uh, the only way to see both of them update at the same time is to use the step forward or trim forward or trim back buttons. All right. So let's go back to Final Cut Pro. And, of course, the uh, only way to do this in Final Cut Pro, in theory, let's just scroll a little bit uh, here, is to drag. And a lot of people really, uh, you know, find this to be a lot less uh, sophisticated than Avid, and uh, I kind of have to agree. It's good for some slips, but uh, sometimes you just really want to do this in real time. And notice that the two-up display, which is sort of crowded in the canvas window, uh, does not give me as many frames uh, for reference as the Avid 4-up display does. Basically, I, I can see the in and the out point of the clip I'm slipping, but not the previous clip's out point or the next clip's in point. Uh, but I'll show you how to get around that in a second. In order to do this in real time, uh, there is a trick you can use in Final Cut Pro, and that's to double-click the clip to load it in the viewer. Now, even if you're not doing this in real time, slipping in the viewer has uh, distinct advantages over slipping in the timeline. Uh, basically, when I drag the out point or the in point in the viewer, you can see that now my two-up display is a lot bigger. The viewer window and the canvas window become the two-up display. Uh, again, no real time, but at least I get a uh, better visual reference. Now, to do this in real time, I'm going to look for or spot the in point or the new out point. And here's how I'll do it. Just JKL in the viewer. Let's say I want it to be right there where she's kind of looking a little bit at the camera. All right? And if I want that to be the new out point, I've just done that in real time. And then step two is I'll drag the out point until it snaps to the playhead. All right? And now let's look in the timeline and see if that worked. All right? Now again, to spot for the end point, I do the same thing. I position my playhead with JKL as step one. say right before she starts talking to that person off screen. And then step two is I drag the in point till it snaps to the playhead position. So it's basically position in real time and then drag and snap as a second step. All right, but still no four up display, but at least you're doing this in real time. And again, remember in Avid, you're only seeing one frame update at a time anyway in the four up display, either the in point you're spotting for or the out point you're spotting for. Now, to get around the fact that there's no four up display, uh, it took a little bit of thinking on my part. Basically, I knew an editor I was training who liked to slip this way. She liked to basically uh, use the trim forward or trim back keys, which, just like an Avid, are the comma and period key on your keyboard. Problem is, she wants to see two frames updating at once, and you can only see the frame that your playhead is positioned on, either the in point uh, or the out point. So about four in the morning, it came to me, why not use a window arrangement known as multiple edits? So in the uh, current window arrangement, you basically have two windows called tool benches. And these were, this uh, was designed for color correction, where I could basically compare uh, the current frame and a previous edit or the current frame and the next edit. And in this manner, I can kind of do some color correction, like if I'm trying to get the gray of the jacket in this shot to match with the gray of the jacket in that shot, that's what the frame viewer was originally intended to do. But it occurred to me, what if I set the two frame viewers next to one another? 